Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the parable of the Good Shepherd. Good morning and welcome to ELPC Church School. We're glad you could be here with us once again on this beautiful Sunday morning. We hope that you're safe and healthy at home with your families. And now is our time to be together as our church family. The Lord be with you and also with you. <clears throat> I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I will call upon the Lord. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God get yourselves ready to hear our story of the parable today which is the good shepherd and the lost sheep I wonder if this is a parable it might be parables are very precious like gold and this box is gold it looks like a present Parables are like presents. They have already been given to us. They can't be stolen or taken away. They are already ours. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid on it. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But then when you lift the lid of the parable, there's something very precious inside. Let's look inside. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. It's so deep and beautiful and green. I wonder what could be so green. Maybe there's something else inside to help us. Well, there's this. What a beautiful, cool blue that is. I wonder what that might be. Let's see if there's something else inside to help us. These are very dark. There's hardly any light in them at all. 
I wonder what they could be. There's more. Let's see. I wonder what this could be. Looks like this could be the beginning maybe and this could be the end. Or this could be the beginning and this could be the end. Here's another one just like it. If I put it there, it almost looks like a pathway or a road in between. There are still more in our box. Hmm. Now if I keep putting these on, it looks like this place is getting stronger and more solid. There are still more. It's looking like a very strong place. Well, looks like there's an inside and there's an outside. I wonder if this could be a, a corral. Maybe this is some kind of fence. But you know what? There needs to be a way to get inside if there's an inside and an outside. So let's make an opening over here. It's almost like a gate. here. Let's see if there's something else in the box to help us. Ah. There are these. Some sheep. If there are sheep living in this place, then this must be a sheepfold because the sheep are safely folded inside. The gate is closed. They are safe and secure in their sheepfold. Well, once there was someone who said such amazing things and who did such wonderful things that people started to follow him but they didn't know who he was. So one day, they simply had to ask him. And he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name. And my sheep know the sound of my voice so that when I call my sheep, they follow me. I show them the way to the good green grass. I show them the way by the cool, clear water. And even when there are places of danger,
I show them the way. And keep them safe. They follow me and listen to my voice so that they can once again come safely home to the sheepfold. And I count my sheep as they go inside. And if one is missing, I would go anywhere to find that lost sheep. I would go through the green grass, by the still water, calling the sheep's name. And I would keep looking and keep looking, and I would even go into the places of danger until I find that lost sheep. back home, I will lead the sheep safely into the sheepfold once again. And I carried that sheep even though I was very tired and even though it was a long way, I was happy to care for that lost sheep. And when all my sheep are inside, I'm so happy to have them all together again that I invite all of my friends to come and celebrate with me and we have a great feast that all the sheep are safe together again in the sheepfold. I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy to be in this sheepfold. I wonder why the sheep felt safe to follow the Good Shepherd through all of those places. I wonder if you have ever had to go through some places of danger, some places where you felt scared. I wonder if you have ever heard the Good Shepherd say your name and how that felt. I wonder who the Good Shepherd might be. I wonder where this whole place might be. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today about the Good Shepherd and the Lost Sheep is in the Bible. It's kind of in two different places. The first is in Psalm 23, and the second reading that I'm going to do today is in the Gospel of Luke in the New Testament. Psalms is in the Old Testament, and Luke is in the New Testament. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. 
Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And from the book of Luke, chapter 15. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it's time to give our thanks to God in prayer. Sometimes when we talk to God, we say things out loud. Sometimes we speak silently because God hears us whether we use our voices or whether we are silent. God is always listening and God hears us when we speak to him. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for the gift of this day that you gave us. Thank you for the gift of family and friends. Thank you that we are able to talk to our friends and even see our friends on telephones and on our computers. Thank you for our teachers who are staying in touch with us, for our grandparents and cousins, Thank you for the beauty of nature that we can go outside for walks and hear the birds singing and look at the beautiful trees, feel the sunshine on our face. Thank you, God, for caring for us even when we are in the dark places and when we are worried. Sometimes we're a little bit afraid. And we thank you, God, that you have put people in our lives who can comfort us and be with us. We thank you that you, God, are with us always, that you comfort us, give us your peace, and we know, God, that you are always there. We thank you for the farmers who are growing our food and the truckers who are driving food and things across the country. We thank you for the medical people, the doctors and nurses who are taking care of people who might be sick at this time. Show us ways that we can care for other people. And thank you, Lord, for the Good Shepherd who knows us by name and who cares for us always. Amen. Now the light that was in one place can be in many places, all at the same time. I hope that you will be blessed this week as you think about the story of the Good Shepherd and remember that Jesus is with you wherever you go. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.